In this video, I wanted to show you guys how to install the enterprise license of Greylog 3. First logging on to the interface here, you can see that there's no enterprise section. So we need to hop back into the console and go ahead and install a couple packages. The first package that I'm going to install here is called the Greylog Enterprise Plugins. We'll go ahead and run that command, get that installed. And after that one's installed, we're also going to install the integrations plugin. The integration plugin has additional modules around the collection methods, like a Palo Alto. It also has output plugins as far as sending uh, an email or kicking off a script that you guys would like to install. Now, once we get those installed, we're going to go ahead and restart Greylog so it understands that those new files are there. We're going to go ahead and tail that log file just to understand when gray log is up and running. And then here you can see that gray log is up and running based upon that line. We'll go back to our web interface. We'll go ahead and refresh this interface to launch it. I'm going to go ahead and restart it. it prepares for logging on. And once we get into that web interface, you'll notice that up top in our menu system now we have an enterprise section. So if we drop that one down and go into our licensing section, you'll see here's where we can enter our Greylog license. Currently there are no installed licenses, but what we're going to do is copy that cluster ID. This one's unique to every install of Greylog. We're then going to go off and go to greylog.org to request our license. Now these free licenses can handle up to five gigabytes of traffic per day. So we go there, we click on Get Gray Log, scroll to the bottom here, and then you fill out the information. You type in your username, for your last name that you have there. The company that you're with, and then an email address where we can send that license key to. Now keep in mind this does have to be a valid, license, a valid email address, otherwise the license will not come to you. And then go ahead and paste that cluster ID in. And when you click get your free code, an email will be automatically generated to you. And it'll have a text file attached to that. When you get that file, open it up, copy in the code. And then you come up here into the green button in the top right and import your license key. You'll see here it's good for one year. And then once you import that license, you will then see that license down below. Thank you for watching this video. And happy logging.